Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought all this totalitarian nightmare was going away, well, in Australia in 2021, we've got QR codes everywhere you go. You have to log in to every single place you visit. Um, and as David Thrussell recently put it to me, basically you need permission from the government to get food. Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. I can tell that the light is really good, like, uh, so we'll fix that. All right, three, two, one, main. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the report from Tiger Mountain is going to cover the way that this uh, COVID crisis continues down a spiral of totalitarian nonsense, particularly in Australia. In countries like uh, the USA, uh, in places like Florida that remained open, and in places in Europe like um, Sweden that remained open without lockdown, you know, we've, we've seen that this kind of uh, herd immunity has been reached, you know what I mean? And that the rest of the other states are beginning to copy it. But, you know, here in Australia, we, we've, we've basically achieved a, a, a kind of situation where COVID if it is no, not in this country. So, I mean, how long are we going to live like this? Are we going to live this, like this for the next 10 years? It seems to be the plan of our government um, to basically limit us. Even though there, there is now a workable vaccine, actually a number of them, there's AstraZeneca, there's, uh, which, is, which would be the one I would recommend to people, because I don't like the Pfizer, which is RNA and the, uh, and the Moderna. I think the Pfizer is available here. I, I wouldn't recommend that to people at all. But if you need to take one, I think the AstraZeneca is, is one. I, I know people have taken it and they seem fine. Obviously, there is a blood clot issue with that. AstraZeneca and a very tiny um, percentage of people, but you know you, you don't need a vaccine at all because you can also treat, get treat yourself with hydro, hydroxychloroquine, which recently has come out and they've announced that that is okay. They, they've announced that that helps, and also ivermectin and zinc and various other things. So there's always been, you know, these underlying treatments for COVID. So I don't know why we are still like panicking, like you know, it's like Ebola. That's the way they're treating a COVID. They're treating it like it's Ebola or the Black Plague, whenever you hear of one case. And then a whole city will go into lockdown or, or wearing masks. We've got the situation at the moment up in New South Wales where there's like a, a kind of a regional outbreak. And again, um, Gladys Berejiklian, is that how you pronounce her name? Yes. And um, she is only going to lock down a part of um, you know Sydney uh, to try and contain that. She's not into full lockdown, so that's at least not quite as total as you know, Uncle uh, dear Danny Andrews, who's going to be back here in Victoria, ruling us uh, at the end of the month. Surely we've got the lockdown for at least two weeks. Just not, not for COVID, just because Dan's back. You know, he's back. We should celebrate with a good, just impromptu two-week lockdown. Um, so, yeah, look, this is uh, also these quarantine camps that are up in Mickleham, which is in the middle of nowhere. This is kind of something of the future. I mean, to be honest, I mean, if they are going to quarantine people, I would prefer they quarantine them in the middle of nowhere rather than the middle of the CBD, because you go into Melbourne CBD and there's, there's like busy shops and stuff, and then there's like a, a quarantine hotel, and you see people walking around like it's the fucking, um, you know, the Andromeda strain, you know, in the full hazmat suits and everything. So, you know, it's a ridiculous situation. I, I think I would actually maybe agree if we are to have a quarantine center it should be in the middle of nowhere so maybe i do support what's going on in mickleham but again this just does reek of some kind of essentially covid concentration camp in the middle of nowhere so this is the kind of ridiculous totalitarian situation we're living in everywhere you go now you know you have to get your mobile phone you know and you tap it supposedly now let me just say you know this is like stalin's russia or soviet russia just it's just you know it's so much crap. And where is it going? How long are we going to live like this? They talk about bringing back international tourists, but for how long are we, you know, I don't know. I mean, what international tourist is going to come here in quarantine for two or three weeks? That's what I ask you. And also they're talking about, you know, like um, vaccine passports. Even Scott Morrison is supposedly the libertarian end of the things, the right wing end of the thing. He's talking about it. I mean, you know, we're in a terrible crisis. You know, I've often thought Australia is kind of like the Theresa Start of um, of New World Order countries. Um, if, I don't know if you know what Theresa Start was. Theresa Start was a concentration camp in Nazi Germany, and it was the one that. Um, the Nazis took international press to. Whenever there was accusations that there were kind of bad things going on in Nazi concentration camps, they always took the international press or the Red Cross to Theresienstadt. And they said, look how wonderful it is here. And Theresienstadt, you know, was kind of like, it was a concentration camp, there's no other way around it, but it was, you know, had activities and it was the one that was the least oppressive. So I've got a feeling that they're trying to Theresienstadt Australia. You know, it's like this model New World Order country, you know, because basically it's like a kind of democratic version of China. I mean, it really is right now. And is it going away? I mean, Daniel Andrews is applying so that his emergency powers become permanent. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen, permanent. I mean, you know, it, we all know that in totalitarian regimes, whenever they have the state of emergency, they never want to give it up. And that's exactly what is happening here. I mean, I've spoken to many libertarians over the past 
uh, 18 months, uh, including Barry Jones, and now we said, well, you know, these, these powers will, will, will come, but they won't be around forever. But they seem like they are going to be around forever. I'd like to know when they're going to end. I think we do need to resist at this stage, because this has gone on. It's been absolutely ridiculous. And I just wanted to cover this whole kind of gamut of issues here on the report from Tiger Mountain today, and talk about that and get you thinking, which is always what I'd like to, you to do here at the report from Tiger Mountain. So, thank you for listening, and uh, that's the report from Tiger Mountain for today. Thanks.